an actress. <laughs> One go! <sighs> Mark, five, take five. Okay. It distracts from the now. Welcome to Haley's room redo, and these are the before shots, the room that we started with. Haley is 16 years old and asked me, Mom, could we please update my room, maybe do a style that I like, that I'm interested in, maybe a little more grown up, something that has some flair. And I said, sure, Haley, I am not a decorator. Uh, I never claimed to be an interior designer, but you know what I can do is copy stuff off of Pinterest. So I said, Haley, go to Pinterest, find a style, a color scheme that you like that is interesting, and we are going to try and recreate it or do something that resembles it in this blank space of a room. Grab a beverage, sit back and relax, and enjoy the video. Here is the inspiration picture that Haley found, and obviously this room setup is a little bit different than ours, but we took the colors, the ideas, and ran with it. Here we go. Step one is to sell the old furniture, which is this bed, and we moved the mattress downstairs to Ryan's room and paint the wall. Before we moved in the mattress my mom had been using and moved the other furniture out of the way. Okay, go. Yes, we're not lifting so much. <laughs> so much as like take it off the carpet about that far and like and slide. Yeah. Okay. And, and pivot? And no, we did the pivot already. We already did okay. pivot. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> Then once all the furniture was moved and out, we took the carpet shampooer and Haley gave it a nice, good, deep clean. I can't remember the last time we did it, but it's been at least a year or two. And as you can see, there are paint samples on the wall because she picked out the bedding. So we have the bedding and I'm trying to match the paint color to the bedding, which was a lot harder than you would think to match a navy blue bed set to a paint color. but. It was a lot of trips to the hardware store, a lot of trips to the paint store, some paint samples on the wall. We finally ended up with the color Nocturne Blue from Bear from Home Depot is the color that ended up being the closest. And you guys, I went everywhere for that one. So here comes the paint color. Are you ready for this? Now keep in mind, this is wet. It dries significantly darker than this. And I did do a full two coats. Get ready for a painting time lapse. I find these so satisfying. Is this just me? Or do you guys like a nice wall paint time lapse as well? I was so hopeful that this paint job was only gonna be one coat, but after the first few minutes, it was obvious that it was definitely going to be a two coat job. So I went in with the brush to get in those edges. I did tape the sides and the bottom, but I have a little tool that goes along the ceiling where you don't have to tape it off. And as it ended up, I accidentally, uh, <laughs> the rollers that are on it, I accidentally got them in the blue paint. So I am gonna have to touch up the ceiling anyway. Oops. <laughs> but I know this was the first big step I was not scared to paint the wall this dark of a color, first of all, because it's only the one wall that is going to mimic a headboard, but also because it's just paint. I, I can paint over it again. It was really not a big deal. Haley's arms were getting tired. She actually hasn't painted that much before, so I went ahead and took over, finished up the first coat, and we put some fans in the room and opened the windows to get everything to dry completely. And I know it looks pretty good, but our walls are bumpy, if you can see right here. So it's really hard to get a smooth finish on one coat and as you can see here the white from the wall behind it was definitely showing through so later that night i went ahead and did the second coat and we were good to go after everything dried it's time to bring in the bed and this is the bed and mattress that my mom was using while she was staying with me and now that she was gone she didn't need it anymore so we reallocated it to Haley's room she kind of said that she wanted a slightly bigger bed i believe this is a queen and i ordered a bunch of stuff for the bed, the bedding, which I'll show you in just a minute, this really nice mattress topper, and the nightstands that I had ordered several weeks previously just showed up. I looked online so hard for white nightstands that would fit in the space perfectly and they couldn't be too deep because then we wouldn't be able to open the closet door. So I measured perfectly, here they are. I will leave everything that I purchased uh, down below in the description box if you like any of it and you want to go check it out later. I was really impressed with these nightstands. I was a little nervous because some of the reviews said that uh, the corners would come damaged, but I had no issues with mine at all. 
Moving the white nightstands into the room with the bed, the mattress, and the new bedding was so exciting. Haley kept jumping up and down and squealing like, <laughs> like a pig or something. She was so excited. A couple other things that we did in this room is we changed out those curtains. They're kind of like a light gray and we switched them out for white curtains, which you'll see in a little bit. The comforter is just like a bed in a bag set from Amazon in this, what do you call that? Like a pin tuck design. It's pretty popular. I had a ton of reviews online. The sheets, I bought the Milani sheets from Amazon. They have over a hundred thousand five-star reviews. I bought those sheets for my bed, for my boys' twin beds downstairs. They're amazing. I had bought this floating shelf trying to figure out where to put it on the wall. That was the original idea. I actually wasn't loving it. So we ended up going in a different direction, which I'll show you towards the end of the video on the decoration portion of the video. <laughs> Haley, I feel like we have done good. I mean, well, so, so far so good. We have a few more finishing touches, but I am getting concerned about the cost of, you know, the nightstands, the decor items. What do you propose we do about that? Maybe, this is just an idea that just popped into my head. Maybe we could make this a sponsored video. You're saying have a sponsor for this video that'll help pay for the room redo. I like what you're thinking. Let's do it. <laughs> Last year showed us that you never know what in the world life is going to throw at you. And if you use credit cards to pay for unexpected expenses, it can be overwhelming to manage that debt. So take control with Upstart so you know exactly what to expect. Upstart is the fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off your debt all online, whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating a high interest debt, or funding personal experiences. Over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans from 1,000 up to $50,000. You can get approved the same day and receive funds as fast as one business day. So if debt is taking over your life, it's time to get a fresh start with Upstart. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com FFM. That's upstart.com FFM. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that I sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income, certain other information provided in your loan application. Just go to upstart.com slash FFM. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be opening this box. Oh my gosh. Okay, stop. So we have a storage solution. We also have these fairy lights that we're gonna try and hang with, I have these command strip hooks that should be clear. Like the little sticky should be clear. You know. This, wow, Haley. You know, with a screwdriver, it's kind of a little bit. They match. Wow. I like them. Four of these. These are the exact same ones I used in the boys' room downstairs. Just They're just kind of a different color. way bigger and they are. sturdier than the other ones yeah. that we all already have. So. Yeah. We're going to show you what we are re replacing these with. Did I say that sentence correctly? I, I think so. Okay. So let's, I'll show you right now. It is big it's enough perfect. for, it's big enough for a dog. Is this your new bed? <laughs> oh my gosh. What gosh is, it's it's not like <laughs> look how much bigger. Pull one of those out. I have no idea what's Oh, I hope that actually that top one may not work. That one's shorter. <gasps> okay. No! The, the top one doesn't fit. So let's do the next one down. Like a glove. Look at that. Nice. I'm digging it. I'm trying to figure out where do the hooks go up against the wall so it doesn't come out? Do they go at an angle? They, go, I don't know. I think against the wall makes sense, right? So I think I'm gonna do them that way. Cubbies in the closet. I'm feeling like it's it's working for me. Obviously, we need to touch up the wall. We got a little bit on the other on the other wall, so that's going well. I haven't touched up this line against the ceiling yet, so I'm gonna go get the paintbrush. We will do that tonight and finish the fairy lights tomorrow. We headed to Wally's World, aka Walmart, to pick up some decor items. I have some shelves that I like a little bit better than the floating shelf. Some hooks for the closet, which you will see me install in a little bit. Here are the new curtains that we got. I have to use blackout curtains in Haley's room because she has a south facing wall. And in the summertime, sun is up from like 4 a.m. to 11 p.m. and it gets really hot in that room. And yes, oh my gosh, is that a rug? I think so. I teased this rug on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I've been posting little pictures here and there of this whole makeover. So you can go follow me at FrugalFitMom6 if you wanna stay up to date on things like this. I was 
was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing Funny story about these curtains. I got them because they were white and I knew that they would fit right here where the old kind of gray curtains had been. But once we hung them, they were very plasticky looking and feeling really thick. They didn't open and close very well. They almost felt like a plastic shower curtain and neither one of us were happy with it. Haley's like, I don't really like these. And I was like, I don't really like these either. Folded them back up, took them back to Walmart and we ended up with one that was a lot softer um, and was able to move a little bit better. about everything that was fun story about the rug is that <laughs> i purchased it online because my store didn't have it in stock it's been six weeks it still hasn't shown up so i don't know what that's about but i'm gonna need to, to go cancel it and i went into the store and i found it so i was like oh my gosh it's here now i'm gonna buy it here and when the other one shows up i'll just return it so we brought it home kind of wiggled it under the bed now this is a small room so i knew i couldn't get a really big one and they didn't have a big one of this rug so it took a while to wiggle it under this under this bed and then once we sat back and looked at it we were like oh my gosh we need the bigger rug so we rolled that one back up went back to walmart returned that one and got the 8 by 10 size which i will link down below but i feel like it just pulls the room together Lovely. Some people do it different ways, so I guess it depends on how you ask. Like, they're not even sitting in these. Do I need to wrap the metal around? Would that be easier? Well, it'll stay better if I wrap the metal every couple. Then, yeah, sure. Like there, and then there. Like that, right? Yeah, actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, so maybe I'll do it like, <laughs> like that, see? Yeah, so okay. it's like wrapped around there. Yeah. Speedy. Okay. Definitely then, not. Do I wrap it on the corner piece? I don't know. Okay, coming down is actually blah! <laughs> <laughs> you good? The easy part, more than enough to go back a second time. Then let's do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, mom! You like it? <laughs> yeah, okay. I really like it. Oh crap. <laughs> okay, wrap around the bottom piece, got it. So when I wrap, coming back the second time, it almost pushes the wire oh, from okay. the first time around. Oh, it's magic. Did you get that spin right there? That's highly skilled. I like it. I do too. It's not horrible. It <laughs> Listen, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay. Yep. This is just like me trying random stuff and seeing what happens. We are hanging these hooks in the closet for backpacks and sports bags and things like that. So they're off the floor. So I have two of these, a drill right here. Should be easy peasy. I'm a little nervous. Should I like move this? No, it won't. It, it won't go it, through? It, it, no, cause look, there's the screw. Okay. It's not gonna go through. I'm just a, a little nervous, but I think it's, we're good. It's not gonna go through. I'm just nervous about my ability to do it. Oh. See what I mean? Point taken. <laughs> Put your whole body weight. <laughs> Get in there, you piece of crap. <laughs> the, like, it's just 
just like spinning with the screw. <laughs> uh oh. Why do you think that's funny? I'm pretty uncomfortable with the judgment right now. <laughs> Come on. Go straight. <laughs> That sucker is not going <gasps> anywhere. Test. The ultimate test. Should I do the small one? Yeah, do the little one. Ta-da! Brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Why are you laughing? I love your face. <laughs> Can I have the second screw, please? <laughs> Aha! How much of a sick angle would like? This bee. I don't know. <laughs> Is it sick? Okay, that one was better than the other one. <laughs> oh. just, ooh, it's just a little bit of practice, guys. You know what we need? What? More power. Organization. And we got a new laundry basket for in the closet. I can't even tell you what a dilemma hanging the items on the wall was because I had originally gotten the white floating shelf. We decided we didn't like it. Haley saw this starfish at Ross and she's like, oh my gosh, I love this starfish. So we hung it up with a command strip and we printed out a bunch of pictures of her friends and family for these picture frames that we also found at Ross and we are trying to hang them on the wall, kind of surrounding the starfish. This took so long. I have sped it up a lot and cut out a lot of clips of how much time this took. And then she ended up not even liking it. So uh, this is a whole bunch of trial and error. And I was so bummed that I like put nails in the freshly painted wall. That just bugs me so much. So now I have to patch those. So we have these little white shelves that we got from Walmart that we were going to put over on the sides, kind of above the nightstands. And as we were laying them up there, she's like, I don't like it. I don't like any of it. So guess what? Those went back to Walmart and we took, <laughs> we took the picture frames and hung those over the nightstands instead. She wanted them a little bit high. I, I would have liked them a little lower, but Hey, this is her room. So we're trying to take her information and inspiration. What a chore <laughs> this, this painted wall and like the display items. This is the hardest part, I think is figuring out what you like, what looks good. And some things went back to the store. I picked up something else and you'll see that in just a minute. We are at the very last item in Haley's room. It is this picture and some new pillows that we picked up. So all of the shelves that we had tried to hang just didn't seem to work. We had seen an ocean picture at Ross of all places that Haley really liked. I originally tried to push for because I thought the colors would pop really nicely off of the blue wall. Haley's like, oh, maybe, I don't know. And we tried the shelves and they didn't work. I returned all of the shelves, returned to the starfish, went back to Ross. And Haley picked out this picture. It cost $30. Of course, it's not a real painting. It's a print with some paint strokes on top of it stretched over a wood frame. So it doesn't weigh very much. I'm thinking I can use command strips to hang this. Take these off, put the command strips on and hang it on the wall. Oh my gosh, we were so close to the end. I don't even think this is wood actually. This might be like a thick cardboard, in fact. Oh, look, it has D hooks here. Okay, so that's one way to do it. I'm probably gonna unscrew this and take this off and just use command strips on this outside section. I just think it'll be easier and I won't damage the wall. So let me take these off and go get those command strips. Here are the command strips I'm using, the Velcro ones. So I'll put one on the picture, one on the wall, and mush them together. And these are supposed to carry 12 pounds each. So between both of them, it should carry 24 pounds, but I swear this thing weighs three pounds. So no problems at all. My only tip is make sure you know which way is the top. Moment of truth. Okay. I have my level. Oh 
Okay, it's definitely level, but I can see how it's not quite centered in between these two pictures. But at this point, I don't even care. I think the colors look so beautiful. So the next step and the last step, the pillows. So let's go grab the last few pillows, put them on, and we can call this room done. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. Friends, are you ready for the before and afters? I thought so. Let's check it out. Along, and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here? I had the best time redoing this room together and I hope you enjoyed spending the time with us. It took a very long time, probably about six weeks to put it all together, which is why it has taken you so long to see this video, even though I put some teaser pics on Instagram, what feels like forever ago. And if you're interested in Upstart for any of your financial needs, check out my link down below. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Christine out. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a stool. Yeah, ouch. Oh, okay, okay ready? ready? One. Wait! <laughs>